I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a challenge question for you. It is based on rational numbers. Well, you know what rational numbers are. They can be written in the form p over q, where q is not equal to 0, since you cannot divide by 0 and p and q are integers. Now, the question here is, a farmer had 17 horses. He distributed them among his three children. Anil, the eldest, got half of them. Then Ben received one third of the remaining and Kate got the rest. How many horses did Kate get? Explain your answer. Five choices are given to you. Three, four, five, none, and no solution. Very interesting question. We are distributing 17 horses, and the fractions we are dealing with are one third and half. How can we get half of 17? A very big question. Well, this is not my problem. Over ages, many scientists and mathematicians have thought over it. And this has been a very interesting question for a long time. Many persons have provided some interesting solutions to this particular problem. As far as some of the students are concerned, they could say, well, no solution. Since the explanation is simple, we cannot have one third or even half of 17. Makes sense. That may be right. But now the question here is, can we think creatively and find solution of this question? And that is what a real learning is. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Many of my students have got almost 100% marks in mathematics. They have been the best in their class and they have been awarded very prestigious awards. Here's a clip of our recent student. Well, I'm just giving you time to think about the solution now. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Let's look at this question once again. Did you get some ideas of solving? A farmer had 11 horses. He distributed them among three children. Anil, the eldest, got half of them. Ben received one third. Now, out of 17, how can I do half and one third? So, so the numbers which really puzzle are 17, and then we have to do half, and then we have to do one-third. Let's take a blank sheet to work with. If I have to do half of something or even one-third of something, then what is the common denominator? Well, the common denominator is 6. So, the number which we want to work with should be multiple of 6. 
well that is like 6 12 18 24 and so on now nearest to 17 we have a number 18 18 could be a friendly number to work with so that leads to our kind of solution do you get an idea well let this be a hint for you now you can actually pause the video and answer the question at least you will get some solution with an explanation okay let's continue let's continue how do we make 18 with 17 horses hmm well we can borrow one right so so the idea is that borrow a horse now if you borrow a horse then you land up with 17 plus 1 which is 18 horses clear now you can do half of them give them to anil and then continue right so let's do so now let's work with 18 horses remember one borrow clear that means one does not belong to that farmer but it does really help us to solve the question half of them which is 18 divided by 2 is 9 goes to under at least we gave some whole number 9 horses to Anil so Anil gets 9 perfect remaining well remaining out of 18 9 goes to Anil so 9 now what about the next person Ben so Ben gets one third of 9 which is one third times 9 or 3 so that means uh, Ben gets 3 right okay so Ben gets 3 now when Ben gets 3 well, how many are left for Kate hmm that's a big question can you now solve the question I think you can so now 9 plus 3 given or distributed that means 9 plus 3 is 12 out of 18 minus 12 means 6 remain if 6 remain then Kate gets how many that is the main question so 6 let's look into the question once again well the option 6 is not the option well 6 is not the option it could have been right I did not keep it I didn't want to give you the right answer it seems right oh okay well there is a thought process 6 remains but remember we borrowed one we need to return so return a horse when you return five left well you borrowed one to solve a question then you return basically you work with 17 horses make sense hmm it does to some extent do you see how we could actually come up with a solution to this particular question do you appreciate it that is what we call creative thinking Hmm. So, coming back to the question, it seems that Kate received five horses. So, our strategy to borrow and then later return helps. I hope you understand and appreciate the whole ideology. There are many situations which are very difficult to solve. We need to assume many things. We need to borrow some ideas work out a strategy to solve them and that is what we learn from this particular video i hope it makes sense you can always learn from 
me by sending an email or by registering for our classes on the website. Thanks for your time and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great. Thank you and all the best. We regularly register students for our courses. This summer we have a very special program. You can send an email on the address highlighted and join the program of your interest. That will help you to perform much, much better in the coming semester. Register by sending the email as the seats are limited. Join Anil Kumar classes and get ready for a bright future. Thank you.